To start fitting the front attachment you have chosen, loosen the two nuts connecting the plates. Place the transparent protection around the derailleur support tube, and then position the two plates as low as possible on the tube and as close as possible to the crankset or steering box for the boom mount. The notch on one of the plates should be on the chain side. Tighten the two nuts at the top and bottom using a 10 millimeter spanner, not supplied, making sure that the two plates are well centered and securely fastened. Then fix the double brackets to the welded tubes by replacing the two removable half shells marked 23.8. Place the central tube of the windscreen in the brackets and tighten the screws. Insert the upper part of the windscreen into the lower part, then add the central windscreen using the Velcro fasteners. If you have opted for the tube version, assembly is similar. Place the tube in the brackets and tighten the screws. You can adjust the inclination of the tube when you fit the tubular frame. Then place the two small brackets on the top of the tube, making sure that they are fitted in the right direction. There are two rear attachments to choose from. If you have opted for the luggage rack mount, remove two of the three screws from the mount leaving one screw on one side, and place the upper part on top of the luggage rack with the lower part underneath, then tighten using the three screws. This fixing should normally be installed at the end of the luggage rack, so as not to impede the installation of luggage placed on the side or top. Position the plate parallel to the luggage rack mounting, then tighten the two nuts. If you have opted to attach to the seat frame, attach the brackets to the horizontal tube behind of the seat. Screw the L-shaped plate onto the top bracket. Place the two RK1 pieces on the top of the L-shaped plate to connect the rear of the tubular frame. First insert RK3 into the front and rear tubes. These will be used to insert the central tubes later. Insert the front tubes into parts RK, one of the windscreen, and the rear tubes at the plate, and use parts RK2 to connect them together. Finally, place the two central tubes in the RK3 parts and tighten the RK parts to stiffen the frame. Assembly of the frame is similar for the windscreen version. After connecting the two front tubes of the frame, the front tube should be connected to the top of the tubular frame using the two brackets, fixing the side marked 23.8 to the front tube. Assemble the rear part of the tubular frame by adding the RK2 parts and then connecting the front and rear. Adjust the inclination of the front tube to adjust the position of the rear frame on the plate, then retighten all the RK parts and the front bracket screws to stiffen the assembly.
position the canopy on the tubular frame, inserting the tubes at the front under the black sleeves, and connecting the rest using the small Velcro strips at the bottom. Three large strips of Velcro are supplied for sticking to your solar panel so that they fit over those on the top of the canopy. 